Hi, I'm Joseph Shemizi, Sales Support Engineer in the Digital Cinema Group here at NAB 2016. Thanks for joining me. We're on the Digital Cinema set and we're going to be talking about the Z450 camera, a brand new camera just announced at this NAB. It is a two-third inch ENG single chip camcorder. If you were thinking of something like a PDW700 or a PDW800, those long-standing, hard-working optical disc cameras, and you said, hey, I'm really interested in going 4K at this point, we now have a solution for you that we've just announced. We have the prototype on our digital cinema set here, and I can tell you some of the features that we've got. We don't have everything completely defined yet. Um, we were getting a lot of feedback this show from customers trying to figure out what is the most appropriate direction to take this camera. But here are the basics. Two-third inch 4K imager. Other kind of cool thing is that it's based on the body of the PXW X400 camera, another shoulder cam ENG. So if you have the X400 and you said, hey, the Z450 sounds like a really cool idea, I can use it for my work, you can send in your X400 and we will swap out the imager and give you a 4K camera back. So this is a new upgrade path that we've designed for the X400 family, and or you can just get a Z450 outright. The other things about the Z450 is that it's a legacy camera. When Sony says something is a legacy product, it means it'll do all the formats that we've had. So you can record all the way back to DV cam in this camera through standard def, all the flavors of HD that we've ever done in the XT cam family, and now XAVC at 3840-2160. This is a UHD camera, not a DCI camera, although we are looking at those things, so we are looking for customer feedback to just gauge where we want to take the features of this camera. The other kind of cool things we have going on is that this camera is doing a lot with streaming. Um, a lot of folks have been asking for wireless video proxy. And it's, you know, it always sounds good, but it's very hard to pull off in the real world. Well, this camera has some of the most aggressive implementation of wireless proxy streaming. Right now, we can do up to six megabits right out the side of the camera. Um, and we can push that up to a network. You can put in a cell phone card and push it up to the cloud that way. We have an ethernet jack on the side of the camera that is 100 base T, so you can stream out that way and get control over the camera. The other things to know about it is that as an HD camera, because there's still an HD camera even though you've got a 4K imager in there, um, we can put a fiber back on the back of the camera and in HD, HD only now, stay with me, we can have a still studio system camera. We cannot right now, we're looking at, at what we can do for a 4K studio solution, but currently today, the best solutions we have are the 4300 studio camera and the F55 in its live 4K configuration. But stay tuned, this camera is a work in progress when it comes to these kind of features and abilities. We're looking to really be an active part of our, our ENG EFP marketplace. Other kind of cool things we have is we do have a 4K output of the camera. It's two SDI cables and we can actually, it's one 3G and one 3G. So it's a 6G output that we can get out of this camera using what's called the segmented interleaved scheme. So what that basically means is I have two cables that know what's going on in each other and they layer up. So that means that if let's say you're doing a live shoot and somebody pulls a cable on you, you only, the picture just gets a little darker. You don't lose the entire image. So it's a way that if you're in live output connect, it's, it's situations that you will have a way to, if somebody rips a cable out, you'll still have a picture. And the, we developed this in the F55 where we have four cables for HD and you can literally cut three of them and all you'll get is a darker picture but you'll always be live for when it comes to your signal. Um, just so you know about that connector, it is uh, only up to 30p output. Part of that is due to an engineering design to make this camera really affordable and approachable. 4300, our big top studio camera, is um, not for the faint of heart when it comes to your wallet. We want this camera to be out there and working. So if you're used to the cost in a round of a PDW800, PDW700, we're looking to do good by you and maybe even surprise you a little bit. But you're going to have to stay tuned for final pricing. That'll be coming out in the next couple weeks. So the Z450 again, two-third inch, single chip, 4K camera, the ability to output 4K over BNC, um, do all the work in file formats that we've ever had in HD and in SD in the XD cam format, wireless proxy streaming and capability along those lines, and it will also work with our new EL30 viewfinder, which has a LCD as well as an OLED. And the OLED we've now pushed up to a full HD 1920 by 1080 OLED. If you guys are ever around and get a chance to see the L30 viewfinder, I highly recommend you get a chance. So that's our Z450 2 3rd inch 4K ENG EFP camera. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed learning about it. And check out our website, sony.com professional, and look for the Z450 and more news to come in the next couple weeks.
Thanks again.